Well, as you can see, I've got the car in the garage now. We pushed it up with uh, my old boss's four-wheel drive. Just bumper to bumper, pushed it on up there. Now the engine's slowly coming apart. We don't have a hoist to hoist out the engine, so we're just dismantling it piece by piece, and it's much more interesting that way as well. How much is in here? Let's find out. All right. Oh, that stinks. Be the last time this car has to pay for gas. You can see we've got the car jacked up. Took out the gas tank yesterday. Almost finished taking the exhaust out. This is the easy part, taking things out. This is the part that doesn't cost any money. <laughs> right, well, we'll get Rob over here. As you can see, the exhaust is out and the gas tank is out. Just got to take the exhaust off the next step and then remove the engine bit by bit. I know it's a slow, painful way, but it is entertaining. And Rob and I get to learn a lot of how the old engine works, or worked. Look at this oil straight out of the engine sump of the Mitsubishi. Thick, black and disgusting. On my second cup of coffee, thick, black and delicious. Now I've just found a pretty big crack in the bell housing of the transmission. You can see here, that worries me. These don't normally crack by themselves, which makes me wonder if the gearbox has shed itself. It's a long, long road. Getting all these bits undone. Took me an hour just to get the gas tank off last night. Pretty tight old screws that haven't been touched for 20 years. Come on, you little sh... Talk about putting up a bloody fight. Oh, 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 starting to move now. Hey, we got it. Whoa, brilliant. Exhaust off. All right. Good stuff, finally. Taking out the fuel lines now, bit by bit. Painful, slow. I should just use a socket for this, but <laughs> I'm trapped under the car now, so I think I'll just use this. There's all kinds of useless things you find on a gas car that you just don't need in an electric car, like, like this giant heat shield that goes above the muffler. Absolutely no point in an electric car, so all kinds of pieces of junk like this just get taken out. It's great. You are looking at a fuel line. Yet another one of those things that an electric car just does not need. Rob's joined us, dismantling the rest of the car. Still have the felt on the socket. <laughs> I've got, I bought an adjustable spanner. I'll see if I can find it. Snap is off. Yep, it's coming. Bloody good one. All right, look at that. Woohoo! Well done. You can keep it. <laughs> All right, now we're going to try and take the engine out. We've got as much weight as possible off it. Just going to undo a few more bolts and uh, it should just pop out. <laughs> it's a bit easy too. That was probably the most unprofessional engine removal ever. <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> and who said you couldn't convert a car to electric? Cheap. <laughs> oh, fantastic, brilliant. Shit, yeah, look at that. Shit, that's not right. What the hell is that from? It's all the shards there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if it didn't. Oh, that's broken clean off. Bloody hell. Well, that could be the uh, the problem. <laughs> it looks like the gearbox has shed itself. Don't know. Well, we've got the car in the garage, but as you can see, there is a giant hole in the side of the uh, side of the gearbox. Which I don't think is a factory option. So uh, while well, the engine's out, looks like I might have to get myself a new gearbox. It's probably going to cost a hundred, couple hundred bucks, see if I can find one. But in the meantime, I can start scrubbing this thing up, getting ready for the uh, electric motor. A bit cleaner now, but you can still see that, um, that hole shouldn't be there. I have to find myself a new gearbox.